log off, shut down, and get outside at Elk Creek Metro Park's Seabold Park area located in Middletown. Hi, my name is Becky Vanderpool. I'm the Senior Manager of Park Connections with Metro Parks of Butler County. Today I'm at Seabold Park in Middletown. Seabold is one of two areas that make up the Elk Creek Metro Park, the second area being Meadow Ridge. And I'm Lynn White. I'm the Education and Volunteer Specialist with Butler Soil and Water. I'm glad that you could join us today. Today we spent some time in the creek. Um, in lieu of our Creaking in the Park series, which we sure miss being able to do for you. But certainly we wanted to come out, show you some of the things that you might find in the creek here at Seabald, and hope that you'll come out on your own to do some exploring. And when you explore, carefully look under some of the rocks, look in some of the plants that are overhanging into the water and some of the plants that are growing in the water. They all make great habitat for a lot of the animals that live out here. Enjoy! Share with us what you find in the creek. Let's talk a little bit about water safety or creek safety while we're here in the creek today. Any creek that you visit, it's extra important to make sure that you wear the right footwear and that you do wear footwear. Wear something that has closed toes to keep your toes safe, something that comes around the back of your ankles so that your shoes stay on your feet. Rain boots or even tennis shoes that you don't mind getting wet would be perfect footwear for creaking. While we're here at Seabald today, you'll notice that the creek is moving a little bit more quickly than you might find in some other creeks that you visit, or even on other days here at Seabald. Be extra cautious, have good footing in the, in the water, Stay away from the water that's moving a little bit more quickly, the water you can see with the ripples on top. And again, also just be careful to stay close to the little ones around you. We saw this common water snake swimming at the water's edge today. Water snakes who have lots of different color and pattern variations like to bask on logs, stumps, and low branches to absorb sun since they are cold-blooded animals. They usually flee from people and will disappear quickly. They can be aggressive if they feel threatened, so it's best to observe them from a distance. So if you're in the creek, you might be able to catch tiny animals like this beetle larva that I found over where there was grass growing into the water. It makes a great habitat for them. It gives them somewhere to hide. This little pile of rocks doesn't look like much, but it was made by an insect called a caddis fly, and it sticks these little tiny pieces of rock to a bigger rock then it builds itself a fishing net so it can catch dead plants that wash downstream. Fortunately, I can't find the caddis fly itself and I'm not going to pull apart the structure it made because that would be a waste of the insect's work. So this rock when we picked it up had several snails on it. You can see these ones which stand out really well against the rock but there's some on here that are really well camouflaged that are over here. Now, if you look at a snail, you pick this guy up and you hold it with the point in the air, look to see if the opening is on the left or the right. If the opening is on the right, like this snail, it's a really good snail to find because these guys are more sensitive to pollution. If it was one that opened on the left, they can live in pretty nasty water. So these are some great finds in the creek today. So if you're in the creek, you might be able to catch lots of small fish like this darter. Don't handle them with your hands though because the oils in your finger are not really that great for the fish. Also make sure if you catch them that you keep them in the water so their gills stay nice and wet so they can breathe. So once you've caught your animals and you've looked at them, make sure you release them gently by holding them down right next to the water and gently tipping them out. As part of this post today we'll share a PDF as well that you can use to identify some of the different bugs and things that you might find here in the creek. Make sure to use iNaturalist as well. It's a great site for you to try and identify creatures you found. Have fun in the creek.